the brick house, built by slave labor in the 1850s for a Colonel Andrews and bought by my daddy as a present for mother in about 1905 or 6, where I was born and lived until I went to college. That's the garden behind the house. That's a catalpa tree. I used to love to sit on the front porch and watch the sunset behind that catalpa. And those are redbud trees, a little line off them, down toward the pasture. And that is the balcony facing east. Honeysuckle on the crepe myrtle trees. And a peacock, for years we always had one and poplar trees. I planted them the year that I left to marry Lyndon in the fall of 1934. In the old cedars, the storms gave them a bad time and they're, they're, one by one, they're dying. There's Daddy on the front porch and his wife, Ruth. I think this picture was probably made in about 1942. Daddy, Thomas Jefferson Taylor, was a big man, about six feet three, tall and heavy. How I would love to put shutters on the old place, but the grounds were really pretty with crepe myrtle that had been there since time began. That's my sister-in-law, Matiana Taylor. She and Tony were married in about uh, Easter of uh, 1942. This is one of the first times that he had brought her home to the brick house. There's Tony. And a big collie dog that lived there for many years belonged to Ruth. The front entrance was rather imposing with very nice glass around the doors. Take note of my shoes. At least I've improved in the ensuing 20 odd years. <laughs> Tony always liked to, uh, to dress exactly as he pleased, and sometimes that might have seemed a little eccentric. Such things as, as deerskin sandals and French parades. There is um, my brother Tommy's daughter, Susan. She was born in the summer of 42. So perhaps, uh, well, this may be the spring or summer of 43. She's out on the gallery, the long, long gallery that very nearly surrounds the house. The old bricks have gone through many successive stages. Of course, at first, uh, they were the, the dull, soft red. Too bad we didn't let them stay that way. Uh, but then, just before I left to be married, I painted them a sort of a buff with a bit too much yellow in it. as Susan getting a bottle. Unfortunately, when I, and I did the, the house over, I, I didn't um, realize the value of shutters. There's Linda Bird playing in the sand out behind the well. Uh, that's probably about 1948. But in 1948, we did nothing but work and worry that summer. So <laughs> it was the campaign for the Senate. Uh, so maybe with it, this is maybe 1949. Daddy and a plumper Linda Bird in school clothes. And there's Lucy. She's got a box of crayon. Daddy probably taking her to the store and giving her some treats. And here we are out in the backyard. Ruth, Lucy, Daddy, there am I, and Linda. The cedars, the hundred-year-old cedars are in the background. <laughs> 